Good morning guys, so I'm off to the past light clinic. I have got an appointment at 10. Hopefully I'm not running late. I just, I need to work on my time management basically, but at least it's literally just 20 minutes away as opposed to like being like two hours away when I was back at home. So it feels good just to be able to stroll out and like not have to take my whole life with me. Like I've just got my bag because I was gonna just go out and then stay out for the rest of the day but I'm gonna have to come back after this appointment and get my stuff together because I've got a fun little event later which I'll tell you about later but for now I need to get into fast-paced walking mode get to the station and sweaty so first of all today I had to go to my laser hair removal appointment so that all got done I got my armpits and I got my bikini line done I usually get my chest done but because I've been exposed to the sun I couldn't get that area done I highly recommend past light clinic the clinic is so nice and clean the staff are so lovely and all of that so I'll leave links to their stuff down below if you guys want to go and check them out but any hoozles, after that, I headed over to my sister's workplace in East, so I had to do quite a bit of traveling in the morning already, because I needed to pick up these documents. Um, where are they? In my YouTube bag. She's so cute, she put them in my little YouTube bag. Rest of the day today, I have about two and a half hours to chill before I need to head over to um, the Corinthia Hotel for the Ant-Man and the Wasp like workout thing that we're gonna be doing. It's a wasp workout. Unfortunately, Evangeline was meant to come along and you know, we're gonna get to chat to her. She's like the star of the movie because she's the wasp. And yeah, but unfortunately she's gonna make it, but it's still gonna be a good time. And actually they did mention that we might get to spend some time in the spa afterwards at that hotel. Hey guys, so I've just been sitting around, lazing around. I did do a bit of admin stuff that I needed to do, but it's one of those things that's ongoing and is gonna take ages to finish, really. I probably won't actually get it done until like early August, probably, but it was good just to do the little bit that I was gonna do. I might carry on doing it later in the office, but whilst I was getting ready, I was just watching a little bit of Lindsay Kelk. So this is her, so this video is called How I Got My I don't know how to read how I got here, my career journey. So she is a author and she's an author of one of my favorite series, which is the I Heart series. I can't remember where I got to. I haven't read them in a while, but I've read I Heart New York, which is the first one, I Heart Hollywood, I Heart LA, I Heart Paris, I've, I Heart London. I think I've read that one too. I've read quite a few of the books, but I think I lost track of the series at some point, but I just love her. And it's really interesting watching her video about her whole career process because people always think that careers are just like straightforward. And a lot of her story was stuff that sounds like luck and things just falling into place, which I really like because, you know, it just goes to show you can't always plan things or how you will end up where you want to be. So there are a lot of times where she got into a position purely just because of another situation going on, not necessarily because, I don't know, the old traditional way of getting somewhere. Sounds very weird, but I'd just say definitely watch her video. It gave me a lot to think about, about my own career, where I wanted to go, where I want to end up, how I'm going to end up there, and just the fact that I might not have any control over it. 
But anyway, it is about quarter to three. I need to be where I need to be in about 30 minutes. So I should have enough time because I think I checked and it should take about 18 minutes to get there. But I have learned after this morning to add 10 minutes to every journey that Google Maps says will be like a certain amount of time because whilst it's a lot faster to travel around places here in London than anywhere else, well, where I'm from anyway, it still will take quite a little bit of time to get there because they don't take into account the walking that you do underground as well and like maybe you're waiting for a red light or maybe you're waiting for something i don't know you always get caught up so i've learned to add 10 minutes on to everything anyway i am procrastinating to go outside let me show you my outfit that would be a good way to procrastinate also sorry i'm still getting used to this camera so if you see me not looking at the camera it's because i'm looking at myself sorry i've got this puma top t-shirt thing it's really nice and flowy and loose i just like the way it sits i think it's quite flattering i've got my my protein black leggings on i like them because they're proper high-waisted um so that's really nice i've got this black sports bra that i got from h&m well i didn't get it from h&m but i got it sent to me a while ago but it's really nice and comfy so i'm just wearing that and then whoa help me Jimin. I've got my Puma black trainers on and that is what I'm wearing. Okay guys, so I'm off now so I guess I'll see you when I get there. We said I'm gonna buy that food. That would be great. Okay guys, so I am home. I was actually just on the phone to one of my friends. Her name is Simone. And we've been following each other on Instagram for the longest time. And we only just spoke on the phone for like the first time. And it's literally been years. So we're planning on actually teaching a class right here in London in September. 
and yeah just let me know if you'd be up for a class if you're in the area we're gonna give you guys quite a bit of notice so if you want to travel in from somewhere else um you'll be able to do that but do comment down below if you're interested in class or if you're even interested in classes in general because i'm thinking about starting up classes here in london or just pting so if you're interested in either then do let me know comment down below or message me or something like that but um yeah i'm just like unsure of it because you know I don't know but anyways I am absolutely relaxed so my day ended up completely differently to how I had envisioned it so basically you guys saw that I went to get laser hair removal met up with my sister to get some documents I spent a little bit of my afternoon putting those documents together had some lunch and then I headed out for this event which was for the new Ant-Man and the Wasp movie and it was such a good event it was so lovely and like I just met some lovely people there well I already knew Bam Bam so I had no idea Bam Bam was going to be there so if you guys didn't know Bam Bam was in my twerk video she taught me how to properly twerk she is amazing honestly that <sighs> that human you know when you just like just are obsessed with a human I'm obsessed with that human she just has such a positive aura around her she's just so lovely and just having her around just makes you feel so at ease if that makes sense I don't know but she's so lovely and then made a new friend her name is lauren she was so lovely and such such it was so good like i feel like we just connected and bonded because basically we had the workout session which is amazing and you'll get to see the full video soon so i made a little video while they filmed for me as you would have seen behind the scenes because shout out to jason for filming that he is also very lovely and he invited all of us out there for the workout so then we did the workout, got to do some fun bits, and then we got to head down to the spa. So I just wanted to explain what the whole spa thing was about because I just showed you clips. Basically, um, after our workout, we were allowed to go to the spa in the Corinthia Hotel. The Corinthia Hotel is insane, as you would have seen. I've been to it before. I actually filmed the Black Panther video I did at the Corinthia Hotel. So if you guys have seen the Black Panther video, well, I didn't show you the hotel, I just showed you the conference room where we were filming. But anyway, um, it's an insane hotel, like literally the epitome of like luxury. And me and my family are really obsessed with like luxurious hotels. It's like our thing, we love it. Like you guys would have seen, I took my mom to the Ritz for Mother's Day. And like, you know, most people would go on a holiday and like spend that money on like a week's worth of a holiday or even longer. We just like to spend that on just one night in a fancy hotel. It's so weird, but we just love that kind of stuff. So I really appreciate like a good hotel that makes you feel like that olden time, like luxury with like the huge chandeliers and just like opulence and wealth and just lovely stuff <laughs> um so random but it's just one of those hotels you walk in and you feel like you're in a hotel do you know what i mean it's not like you're in a travel lodge though you know travel lodges are great for what they are but it even has like a nice smell to it i love that hotel i really want a chance to stay at stay at the corinthia because i've just obviously been visiting and now i've got i've gotten a chance to go down to the spa so we had a chance to go to the spa and it was just beautiful it was amazing and we spent a good two and a half hours in the spa just chilling and it was the most relaxing thing and amazing if you have a chance i haven't checked how much it actually costs and i'm scared to because i feel like it's ridiculously expensive but it was so it would it'd be so worth it because i feel like i got transported into a new place just being there but anyway my battery is flashing red which means it's probably time for me to pack it in for the end of the day i'm probably just gonna have dinner and then just chill out for the rest of the evening i was gonna do some work but i'm trying to have a good like work rest balance i know i've just spent like the last two and a half hours in a spa but like obviously the afternoon i was filming and stuff like that um and i want to get to bed early and i'd rather go to bed early do the work in the morning rather than working into the night late because i'm trying to become a morning person so i'm hoping tomorrow morning to wake up earlier fingers crossed but yeah i'll definitely be talking about my way in pretty soon i think i'll do a proper video update on it because i know i haven't really been speaking about it the last few videos so i'll do a proper like weight loss update how am i doing what am i what am i doing to get there and all of that kind of stuff i will be doing that but 
today is not the day. It was a bit all over the place anyway. But I hope you guys are just enjoying seeing a little bit more of my life and what I get up to. Not every day is as glamorous and as fun as this day was, but you know. Anyways, I am feeling so cozy. I'm gonna take a shower, have my dinner, and go to bed. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay healthy, stay luscious, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.